In this video, we will learn about masking in Superimpose V. Masking is a technique to create transparent area in a photo or a video layer, to reveal what lies behind that layer. We are going to use masking and some other tricks, to create an interesting video like this one. Initially, I have this video clip loaded into the project. Let me first grab an image from the end of the clip, when the person is out of the frame. And I can do that by using the freeze frame feature. Remove the last part after the frozen frame, and then move the frozen frame into a different track. Now we can use the frozen frame, which is the background of this video, to make the person disappear. But we do not want him to disappear suddenly in a frame, but want him to disappear at a particular height. And to achieve that, we can make use of a masking effect. Go to the Masking tab, and then select the Linear Mask tool. This tool creates a gradient of transparent area in the layer. Let me reduce the gradient and then rotate it to cut out the bottom part of the frame. Adjust the timing and the position of the mask, to make the person disappear exactly the way we want it. As the person touches the ground, he stands up and reappears in the frame. To make him disappear completely, we can animate the mask up, after he touches the ground. And as we have already learned, we can use keyframes to do that. Add a keyframe here. And move the mask up. Which creates another keyframe. Now let me add another twist into it by adding an image. The idea is to make the person disappear into the palm. We are going to use another masking tool to do that. But first, we need to remove the background from the palm. I am adding the Luma key effect. Luma key can make pixels transparent which are either very bright or very dark. In this case, the background which is white, is very bright compared to the palm. We can touch the pixels that we want to make transparent, and the app will update the settings to make it happen. I need to tighten the threshold manually a bit, so that the pixels from the palm do not become transparent. That is nice, we have completely removed the background from the hand. Now let me flip the layer horizontally. And now adjust the position of the hand. Also, increase the length of the hand clip, to cover the entire video timeline. Now let us play it. That is perfect. But we can add a few more things, to make it even more interesting. Let me add keyframes, to make the hand move out. Perfect. Let me also add an easing curve to smoothen the movement of the hand. This is better. Finally, let me do some color adjustments, to make everything look even. Add the adjust effect to the hand layer. And reduce the exposure a bit, to make it match with the background video. And then, add an adjustment layer. I am going to apply a color effect, 
on the entire clip to give it a uniform color effect using the adjustment layer. Let me add just one more keyframe animation. I want the hand to move into the frame as the person jumps. And here we have the final video. I hope you liked the tutorial. Thank you for watching.